Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and we have some hype news about upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings, uh, obviously only on the JP version for now. Uh, we knew that this physical Kid Buu was going to be getting one soon and we finally have the details of what his Extreme Z Awakening is going to look like. So he currently has one of the best passive support skills in the game, attack and defense 50% for all allies across the board, doesn't matter of typing color, super or extreme, anything like that, but it has the restriction of when HP is 80% or above. So if you've ever tried using this guy, uh, you know that at least during the 120 lead meta, pretty much right up until uh, the newer category started to come out, it was quite hard to maintain that restriction. Um, so the details here are, he still has the if HP is 80% or above, 50% uh, attack and defense, but we also get two key for all allies as well but if hp is 79 percent or below attack and defense plus 30 percent so they've kept the same restriction and added the two key but they've now made it so that if you do not meet the hp restriction he still gives attack and defense plus 30 percent so effectively that still makes him a very very good support unit and uh, not many units will have higher than 25 or 30 percent uh, to attack and defense across the board like that so that is pretty ridiculous. And then those are his stats fully rainbowed uh, when he is fully Extreme Z Awakened. So, I mean, that HP that is uh, pretty good. So obviously, shout outs to Mai on Twitter, one of the uh, regular Dokkan data miners. Um, but they also revealed something else that none of us really expected. I'm sure you've seen it already. I mean, it's in the title and the thumbnail. But this STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, so he's a very, very old unit. Uh, it's quite outdated, really. The AGL one, especially because of his Extreme Z Awakening, is way, way better. Um, and of course, this guy isn't even a Dokkan Fest exclusive. So he used to do attack plus 80% when HP is 30% or above. Uh, so now he gets a whole load more boosts. So own defense plus 40%. And if HP is, so that's just a, that's just guaranteed, 40% defense. If HP is 30% or above, attack plus 80%, which obviously is what he had before. On top of that, if HP is 50% or above, an additional 30%. And finally, if HP is 80% or above, another 30%. So, if HP is 80% or above, in total he gets 40% defense and 140% attack. So, that is actually pretty damn good and uh, shout out to gaming with talent as well for the actual translations of the uh, kanji so they also revealed that he uses the same extreme z awakening medals as the agl goku um so as from what we know so far none of this is a hundred percent confirmed but you're gonna have to replay the stages from the agl goku eza so we don't know whether they will make it so that that doesn't cost stamina anymore because um, I don't know if you have ever looked into this but if you go back to replay previous EZA stages that you've completed they actually do have a stamina cost so maybe they'll um, take away the stamina cost for when this drops just for like the duration of the celebration that it drops in or something like that um, I kind of hope they will just reset the whole thing because one of the good things about doing the Extreme Z Awakenings is getting those 30 stones and some other bits and pieces along the way for completing all the stages. So even if they just remove the stamina cost, we're not going to get any extra little goodies for doing it other than obviously just the medals to Extreme Z Awaken him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you hyped for this? It's definitely an interesting choice and it means that older units definitely have more potential. The fact that they're going back and doing a unit who already has an Extreme Z Awaken unit with the same name, means that there's hope for units like the other Ultimate Gohans, maybe even the Int uh, Perfect Cell, who knows. So it's nice to see some other units getting the Extreme Z Awakening love and uh, making some older units relevant again. So let me know what you think in the comments. I have both of these units uh, with all their paths open but have never put any orbs into them. So. I'm going to have to start working on them for when this comes to global. So, yeah, let me know if you guys are hyped. Let me know if you have them already and if you will be going all out for this. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. 
If you found the video useful, uh, slap that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, we post daily Dokkan Battle content. So you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Ningen or join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.